Hi everyone, look here from Apple Online Academy with another quick tutorial. Let me show you how you can compress and decompress files on your Mac. It's very easy to compress a file, group of files or even folders using a simple command in the finder on your Mac. This is also known as zipping the files because the zip format is mostly used for compression. Just as easy you can also decompress any file that you receive by email or download. So compressing a file is pretty easy. All I need to do is use the context menu, which I can get to with a two finger click on my trackpad or by control clicking on the file. Here in the menu I get the option to compress. If I select that, I'll get the same file there, but with the dot zip after it. You can see it has compressed it a little bit too. So instead of 1.5 MB, now it's 1.4. It's not much, but better than nothing. Now if I want to do that with multiple files, I can select as many as I want, then right click on one of them and select compress. It will be named archive.zip, but I can easily rename it. To decompress it, it's even easier than that. Just double click on that file like you are going to open it. It will actually unzip the file using the archive utility, and a folder with the same name as the zip file will appear here. You can edit preferences for compressing files in the archive utility app itself. Search for it using Spotlight and then select preferences from the menu on top. As you can see here you've got more options than the simple double click to decompress or control click to compress a file. You can set the location for expanded files to go into a different location as the zip file. You can automatically have the file move to the bin or even deleted it right away. When creating an archive, you can also set the location for that. You can choose here from free formats as well. Compressed archive, regular archive or a zip file. Many options to choose from, to fit your preferences. There are two main reasons you might want to compress something. One is to be able to send it to somebody without any complications, because sometimes email apps or even downloading from a web browser can cause complications with certain type of file. Also, sometimes you want to send multiple files to somebody and it's easier to send one zip file than a whole bunch of files as attachments. Of course, the other reason is that it compresses it. Now compressions are going to vary. Images are already pretty compressed, so JPEG is a compressed image format, so you might find that zipping up a JPEG saves almost no space. But compressing word processing documents and some other types of documents might actually reduce the file size. As you can see, Zipping file is very easy on the Mac, same as pressing the subscribe button if you want to know more. And let me know in the comments what would you like to see next, and I will see you there.